back to my channel. My name is Betsy. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. As you can see from the title, we are doing another haul, which I am very excited about. But before we get into the video, to start off, Black Lives Matter, okay? I will also leave some links down below to not only educate, but also for you guys to sign petitions and donate. Don't feel forced to donate if you do not have the means to, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I know you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, she looks different. It's like, no. But yeah, no, I got braids, guys. How do you like them? But yeah, I got braids because it's summertime. So I'm just like, let me just get braids, you know. it'll It makes life so much easier, I will say that. Because, whew, girl, like I just, I don't know. I'm tired of doing my hair. I don't know about y'all. I mean, when it's straightened, it is a little bit easier. It's just like, okay, make up and just comb it out. But I don't want to always straighten my hair because I don't want to kill my curls or, like, have heat damage. So I can only straighten it so much. So braids are a great protective hairstyle. My hair is definitely growing while they're in, so that's great. It's always a plus. But, yeah, so... New hair, new me, Sigma. New hair, who this? Anyways, um, so yeah, today is a holly haul, guys. We're doing a haul today, and as you can see from the title, it is misguided. So let me just talk to you guys a little bit about misguided and how I don't think I'm ever going to order from them again. <laughs> Not because of the clothes, because I haven't even looked at the clothes. Let, let me just go get the bag. Hold on. Okay. So this is my misguided bag. What, this haul isn't as big as the Pretty Little Thing haul that I did recently. But I did get a couple of things. Um, and the reason I said I didn't want to order from them again is because it literally... Guys, I ordered my clothes on May 10th. The shipment didn't come in until May 30th. No, May 31st. Was it May 30th or May 31st? It didn't come in until May 30th, guys. And that's, that's literally 20 days. Like, what the heck? And I get it with all the COVID stuff going on. I get it. Like, they do mention that the shipping times are, like, different or whatever because of the coronavirus. I understand that completely. But I still don't think it should have taken that long. Like, PL, PLT, I think they're both from the UK, Misguided and PLC. Don't quote me on that. But I think they're both UK brands. And PLT came in literally, like, three days. And my misguided took 20 days, so, but I have the package now, so let's try on the stuff. Honestly, I don't even remember what I got, so I'm going to go get some scissors, and we're going to go open this up and try it. Okay, so the first item that I have is this tie-dye lime green and blue dress. It is a little bit of a high neck on the top. It also has these ruched um, sides and they have strings on the bottom so that you can pull them and adjust the length to how you like it. Um, I really like the dress. I don't really know why I bought it to begin with, to be honest. I really just saw it on some um, off on the side on the website and I was just like oh my girl looks cute in that dress let me let me look at it and I decided to buy it because I thought that the material was thinner um it is th it's kind of thick to be a dress especially since it's such a summery dress I was hoping it'd be more on the t-shirt side I guess like the t-shirt ribbed kind of material because it is a ribbed um shirt um dress it's just not as it's not as thin as I would have liked it to be just because it is summer and I don't want to be hot in a dress 
but it is super cute i like the way it fits my body it does have a, a little bit of room i kind of wish it was a little bit tighter but i mean that's okay it gives you like a wiggle room just in case you were to gain weight or whatever the case may be and then when you tighten the bottom strings it does give you a little bit more like of a snatched waist so i do like that you can control that um the high neck gives it a little bit of class and doesn't make it look so kiddish because it is tie-dye that's like my main concern with tie-dye i don't want to look like a child um but this definitely um gives it like like cute and cute and still grown if you know what i mean um, especially because it shows your curves and it has a high neck, which I really appreciate. Um, I like the length. Um, this is in a size US 2. That's usually my normal size. Um, it's between a 2 and a 4. So um, this fits perfectly. Well, it fits, it fits well. I wish the color would pick up on camera. Like, there we go. Yeah, so it is a lime green and a uh, blue, and I like those colors together a lot because I like to wear lime a lot with, like, denim, so it gives me that kind of vibe. So definitely cute, um, and I will link everything in the description box below because I'm not sure how much this was, but I think they were also having a 50% off sale, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, this was the first item cute let's move on to the next outfit okay guys so this is the next item and it is a it's a romper and it is a ribbed material it is very stretchy um i'm pretty sure you guys can tell by how it looks on my body i'm not really feeling it too much because i expected it to be a different material and guys if I say this in the next haul, if I complain about any type of material, you guys need to go off on me in the comments because I really need to start paying attention to material. Like, I was not expecting it to be slinky material. That's kind of what it is. Like, it's like, it's like spandexy. And while that's cool and all, that's not really the material I was going for. I kind of wanted like a chill type cotton um uh cotton type of romper like just to be chill and like i said i've been trying to stack up on like chill outfits but like the fact that this is like shiny and like all of that like this is definitely just not really every day and also as you can see like i shouldn't be wearing um those underwear with this like you would definitely have to free ball or like wear like a g-string or something i was wearing a thong it just still showed through like um the lacy parts so i would definitely wear um some like either no um underwear or um a g-string or something like that that or seamless that just doesn't show through um but besides that even though it isn't what i expected i do like it it is cute it's, um it's form-fitting which I like. Um, I just didn't really like the material. It's crazy how material can make something look ten t like either really bad or really good. But whatever. This is the second item. Let's move on to the next one. Next we have a two-piece set. So this is a beige like two-piece set. Um, this is the top. It is in a... Sorry. US 2. If it's true to its size, um, I like this set a lot because although it is summer, I have, like I said, been trying to find chill things and it's very thin, guys. Like, what? I don't even know what type of material this is. But it says corset light knit hoodies. Um, so this is a light knit type of, uh, sweater, and it is true, because it's, I don't know how to explain the material, but it is so light, um, it's, like, almost, like, you can see through the little holes, kind of, in the, um, hoodie, which I really like. I also love that it has a hoodie on top of it, like, because most sweaters usually don't come with that anymore, so I do appreciate that it has a hoodie, 
for those, um, you know, those times where we just need a hoodie. We need a hoodie. We need, it starts raining, you just cover your hair, you need a hoodie. Like, I love hoodies. But, um, I also like that it is tighter at the waist. This part is like a band almost. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go. It's like a band and it follows like your boob lineup, like how your boobs go. And I really thought that was cute because it was like it gives the aesthetic of like a under like a underwire corset or like something like that, but it doesn't really have it there. Um the only thing I would say is that I kind of expected this. I don't have like huge boobs or anything. Um my boobs are relatively small, so um, I am like, I am a 30, 32C, sometimes 34, it depends, but, and Victoria's Secret, by the way, because, you know, Victoria's Secret sizes and other people's sizes are completely different, because Victoria's Secret be trying to tell me I'm a D, giving my, getting my hopes up, when I know damn well I'm, I'm on the B side, but, whatever, I just like to put it in the middle, and, um, I get, I am a C, um, but yeah, I, it, as you can see, like the sides are kind of puffy because I have no boobs to fit in them, but I'm pretty sure if this was like someone with a good, like size boob, it would look really good. Like it would be tight in all the right places, but still cute. I'm still going to wear it. Um, and then the pants, as you guys can see, they're also the same material. They're very light. They're baggy. Um, and I like them baggy, um, because that's the style also, because I don't want them to be tight. Like, I wanted them to actually be sweatpants. And I thought that they were, um, I love when sweatpants can still be kind of form-fitting on your butt. But, like, still be baggy. I don't know if that makes sense. But it, I felt like it was giving that vibe. Like, it didn't look like I was, like, had no body to me or no curve to me. It just looked like I was wearing baggy sweatpants. But I still had a little, you know, back there. But... <laughs> Um, yeah, I really like these pants. They were really com they're really comfortable. And these are also in a US too. Oh no. These are in a US four. I wonder if I ordered it like that or I don't know, but these are in a four. I feel like if they were in a two, maybe they'd be a little bit better. But whatever, they're still good. I like them. And they also have like um little like like, this part gets a little tight at the bottom, so, like, they cuff your ankles. Or you can, like, slide them up a little bit if you want them at the calf. So, let's move on to the next item. Next, I have this one piece in a size US 4. And it's, like, a knitted jogger set. Um, it has this little tie right here, which is, like, just adds a little cuteness to the fit. I think it adds a little, like, you know pizzazz to the outfit um and then in the back it i was too lazy to do it but as you'll see in the video but you just button it and it has like this little slit in the back so you could wear your hair up with this because it is higher um at the neck it's not like a deep v or anything so you, i would suggest wearing your hair up with this um, and it is very chill. It is a ribbed type of material. I don't know why I got so many ribbed things. I'm not even, like, a super... Uh, you guys are probably thinking, she really into ribbed stuff? But I'm not. I don't even know. Maybe it's just me not reading again. But whatever. So um, this is cute. It also um, cinches at the leg so that it's, like, jogger. Like, it, it's a jogger set. Um... It gives a jogger feel to it, but I really like this set. It um is really comfy. It's not too tight or form fitting. I like that about it because a lot of my one pieces are form fitting, and this is like chill. But like like I said, like the last piece, it's like still lets you have curves and things like that. Um, it still shows your curves. Like you're not like bodiless, <laughs> but um. 
it's but it's still loose at the same time so it's very appropriate for different occasions and um it's matte chill i love the color it's like beige as you guys can tell i got a lot of nudes this time around and that's because um i really love nudes and grays so this is like a beige -ish, beige -ish, beige ish color um and it's really cute you can wear these with sneakers and um or sandals if you want i also paired it with the bag that i just um had in my closet um it's not the bag i'm wearing currently like it's not my everyday bag right now but it is a cute bag to wear with this it spices up the uh chill outfit so let's move on to the next item my next item is this shirt it's a crop top and it's in the u.s size u.s 2 um, I, it's unbuttoned right now, but you can see how it looks right here. Um, I really, 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 really like this shirt. Honestly, I wish I got it in a white, and I wish I got it in all the colors if there were more than one color, because it is so comfortable. This is cotton, I believe. Um, I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't say, but I think this is cotton. It feels like cotton. It is so stretchy. Um, you can also button it up all the way to the top. It has buttons. I just think cleavage is cute. Um, I'll just show you a little bit. It's cute um, and flattering. It gives it a more feminine touch, which I like. Um, I like how the sleeves are mid midway. It's really cute. It's your ideal shirt. Just to throw on with any jeans or anything that you have honestly any bottoms i wouldn't wear it with those jeans that are pictured in the video i just had them on as you know just i just wanted to put on some bottoms with the shirt um but yeah this is a definitely a comfortable shirt i really like it um you can do it's it feels like you can do a lot in it it's definitely a great everyday shirt so i would definitely recommend this shirt Let's go on to the next item. Okay, so the next item is this crop top. It is in a US zero. Honestly, does not feel like a zero at all. It feels, um, it's actually kind of big to be a crop top, as you guys can see. But I also have a very small torso, so that could be the reason why I also paired it with high waisted jeans in this video. So that could also be another reason why. But I definitely do like the material of the shirt. It is very stretchy, just like the other one. I believe it is cotton as well. Um, it also has this frilly, frilly bottom, which gives it like a girly effect, which I think is really cute. And it also has that um, frilly material on the sleeves. This is definitely really comfortable. Love this for me. Um, so I would recommend this shirt because it is comfy. I just let's say i don't get why it's so big but i guess that's maybe the style um i just wanted it to kind of be a little bit shorter um but it is really cute so i would recommend this for sure so let's move on to the next item okay guys so this is my last item i did not say the best for last this time i didn't really have a favorite if you guys do please let me know in the comments down below what, what your favorite item was um i don't know what mine was it's probably the set the cohort set the light um beige one but anyways this is the next item and i really 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 like the color i think it's very flattering it's not too summery but I love the purple color, um, and this one is frilly at, on the bottom and at the sleeves as well. So the reason why I like this one a little bit better than the white one I just showed is because it gave me the length that I wanted. It was shorter, so I definitely love that. Um, and yeah, it's definitely comfortable, and this is in the petite size because they have a petite collection, so that's probably why it fit me better. It's definitely why it fit me better because it's in the US too, and the white one was in the zero. But definitely love this one. So that's that for my haul. That was the last item. Let me know what you guys liked best in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and also don't forget to subscribe. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will list all of the items in the description box down below. Thank you for supporting me. I have noticed that I got to 500 subscribers. Let's get that to 1k guys. Thank you for supporting and for everyone 
someone that's new, welcome. I hope that you stay. And don't forget, Black Lives Matter.